Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review for Samsung Captivate. Today we've got DLEV ROM version 4.1. Okay, now as I mentioned, this is version 4.1 of DLEV ROM. It's got the all new Talon kernel, which has the really cool progress screen uh, on the kernel screen, which is really cool. So that way it's uh, a little something to look at while you let it boot. And it seems to be realistic as when it hits that edge there, it actually does boot into the uh, boot animation. So there's the uh, custom boot animation as well with the DLEV ROM uh, logo and graphics. And uh, looks pretty nice. Um, this is a JVQ slash JVP based ROM and you can use my gingerbread ROM install video to install this and it works just perfect. So it's got custom transitions, the CRT screen off animation, green over scroll, nine lock screens to pick from, the Cyanogen Mod 7 themed dialer, SGS2 icons all over the place and two launchers out of the box. We've got Launcher Pro and TouchWiz launcher here. We'll take a look at each of these. And this is the, uh, the newer TouchWiz uh, uh, launcher with the uh, fully overlapping horizontal based app drawer and if we look at launcher pro we'll see you know what we're used to seeing if you haven't seen launcher pro check out my launched video there for launcher pro now we're gonna go ahead and select launcher pro and at the same time here I'm gonna show you guys some of the display options including uh, the device lock screens you can see all the different picks right there and there's SGS2, glass unlock, puzzle unlock, epic unlock, rotary, R2D2, 4 tab, my UI, and Android unlock. So um, the my UI one's kind of cool to have as that's that's one of my favorites currently. So let me adjust my screen time out to 10 minutes and my brightness to let's turn it up a notch. Not too bright. Don't oversaturate the um, camera here. And um, yeah, let's see what we can get here. Uh, for, first off, I'm sorry about any noise. I've gotten a few comments about that. I really can't do anything. My office building currently has an open ceiling type of design, and basically what you're hearing there is the AC vents. And all I can say is, I'm trying guys. I got 1080p for you guys now. I'm taking a lot longer to edit these videos. Who knows, maybe I'll step up to a nice mic or something. But uh, for now, just try to try to ignore it. It's not that bad. I mean, I, I've listened to these things with headphones on and you know, I, it doesn't bother me that much. But anyways, just wanna get that off my chest. Um, EDT app is present in this ROM as well. Now, if you are familiar with Vibrance at all, you're familiar with the EDT app. Uh, as these guys write a lot of stuff for the Vibrant, including custom ROMs and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, uh, but basically in here you have battery options, clock options, and signal options to kind of tweak uh, the framework and do what you'd like to do with it. So you can make the battery do different things, clock options. So like say I wanted to hide the clock in general, hide clock, clock disappears. So stuff like that and bring it back just like that. So you can actually tweak that all on your own. Um, now the ROM is very snappy, very fast. It's Voodoo enabled out of the box. That is default for this ROM. Uh, so it's really nice. New market is present. So you'll have the new market, but that's kind of old news I'm being told now. So uh, better late than never, by the way, on my market videos. So for those of you that were calling me out on old news, better late than never, in my opinion. Um, ad blocking is built in. It's got the latest talent kernel, as we mentioned, with the bigger memory uh, block available, so you have more memory to use out of the box. And um, a lot of other things, too, uh, as far as Voodoo goes. After lag fix, we've got Voodoo Color, Voodoo Sound, the sharpness fix. Home haptic feedback works perfect. And uh, they actually decided to go ahead and throw in extraordinarily fast, uh, which I'm not gonna lie, it's swift, it is smooth, that is for sure. You can take a closer look at the icons up top there. Um, got a nice green tint to them, and uh, something cool to look at. Uh, some of the general theming that you're gonna find is the over scroll glow at the top and bottom there. You can see that. Um, the messaging has a themed swipe as well which is, uh, I don't need to go into options there, uh, a theme swipe which has, um, you know, the nice greens on it as well. And there's a couple other themed uh, type things in here that I had noticed. 
Um, oh yeah, obviously notification menu is gorgeous. Um, really good looking there. It's got a cool looking uh, overglow at the top, Samsung Galaxy S at the bottom, and everything about it's really nice. Uh, some of the custom apps to mention that are available right out of the box would be backlight notification controls. Uh, there's some of the SGS2 um, icons with the camcorder there. And uh, 82 tweaks, as we mentioned before, fancy widget, faster fix GPS. My UI Music is on this ROM as well. And uh, it's also got an app called Nitrality. Those are just to name a few. Nitrality is much like SGS Tools, uh, but it also has a lot of other things. So definitely check this application out as well. I haven't seen it until now, and I'm a fan. It's, it's really cool. I think it's really nice. Um, it gives you a lot of cool things like that. So um, one thing that I'll make a note of uh, for the change log on this particular ROM, uh, basically what they've done recently is as we mentioned they added the Talon kernel, uh, brand new RAM hack and tweak. Uh, the SGS2 lock screen is now the default. They removed the 4 tab lock screen and uh, a few other things as well. And the Nitrality app is relatively new. So those are a few things. Um, go into about phone, give you guys a brief overview of what this particular build's running. This is DLEVs 4.1. Uh, the mod version is unknown. I'm not sure what that field actually represents. Uh, kernel version is what we would expect with the latest Talon kernel. And the JV5 for the modem, obviously on 2.3.4, which is the latest build uh, for Gingerbread. So anyways, that's DLEV 4.1 for your captive be sure to check that out. XDA developers link in the description below. Be sure to bookmark us at mobiletechvideos.com. And also, don't forget to pick up your download mode jig. Quick, easy access to download mode never fails as long as your bootloaders are intact in some way, shape, or form. And if they're not, we can JTAG that as well and correct that. So that's the download mode jig. Link in the description below. Check that out. World famous. We've sold more than anyone in the world. And we can't say thanks to you guys enough for considering us your number one JTAG repair shop as well. So bookmark us at mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and above all, subscribe here on YouTube for the latest videos and more. Um, and hopefully we'll add Google Plus support soon. I keep getting a lot of questions about Google Plus. I'll let you know when I get that page set up. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the